Okay, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. And man, let me tell you, Project Sleeping Giant is a beast. Come on, guys. You've seen the video demonstrations I've been doing on this screen are freaking insane. And yes, when it comes to my tests, I get brutal. All right, so um, just want to put this out there real quick. You know, I get a lot of hatred here and there. And I'll tell you, majority where it comes from. It comes from people who basically that are doing these screen paint mixes and so-called projection screens. I'm not trying to rank on you. I'm not trying to tell you that your screen is bad, but I'm trying to explain to you if you are going to do demonstrations, you have to do more than just basically just take your screen paint, throw it against a wall, hit it with a projector in a dark environment and go, ooh, it looks fantastic. You have to go farther than that. You have to prove to everyone else that your screen is the best. I have taken my screens and matched them against some of the top screens on the, on the projection screen uh, industrial market. I have tested against 40 ohm projectors. I've hit my screens with 700 watts of light, ambient window light, you name it, I have done it. So, you know, if you're not going to push your screens to the next level, if you're going to have that fear that your screens are going to fail, then there's no point in basically putting something on the market that somebody's going to get ho take home and it's going to fail miserably. All right, so let me show you the projector we're going to be doing this demonstration. This is a um, a forty or fifty dollar projector. Now, uh, this projector is forty eight lumens. It's about the lowest you can get, people. 320 by 240 res. Now, this is just to show you that any projector is going to work. You do not have to go out and spend a lot of money for a high end projector, even to use the Crystal H technology screens or the Project Sleeping Giant screens. It's very, very um, compatible, very compatible with a lot of projectors. So, this projector is a toy projector, I mean, it pretty much is a toy. I would not advise you buying this projector as your main projector, even though it has HDMI. Do not be fooled by that. Now, as I said before, a lot of people do demonstrations. They do their demonstrations. This is what you got to watch out for. Look at the environment. If the environment is dark, that's a good indication that the screen does not do well. The majority of the videos are done in dark environments. Another thing you want to notice when you look at these demonstrations is do they cover the ambient light that's hitting the screen? Because some people, this is what they'll do. They'll have the, um, here's, a, here's a demonstration. They'll say the screen is right there. So that's a projection screen right there. They'll have the door open here, right? But people understand when light travels, right, it's going this way. It's not turning and hitting the screen. There has to be something reflecting the light that here and hit here to hit the screen. So the light is coming in. So an open door here and a projection screen here doesn't mean anything because the light is just hitting here. If you look at the wall there, you'll see that the light comes around the edges, but it doesn't cover the entire wall because the light is not turning and it's not hitting the screen. So that means nothing at all. But if you have a window and the window is cascading light in, you see the wall light up, you see shadows being cascaded off the, um, off the light that shows you right there that there's light cascading on the screen. So this is the kind of stuff you have to look for. Uh, when people show their window blinds, what they'll do is they'll take their window blinds, <coughs> come over real quick, they'll take their window blinds and they'll open them up like this. So you guys can see this. So it'll be up like this. So this gives an indication that light's coming through, the room looks a little brighter, right? But the light is actually hitting the blinds and going straight down. See? So this is what I'm trying to tell you. These are little tricks that people do. Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. That people do when they're demonstrating their videos. Or, my personal favorite, see this light right here? So they'll have a light here, right? But there'll be like a huge blind around, like a huge shade around it. The light is literally just going straight down. It's not going out and around, it's going straight down because there's actually a darker shade around it. So this is called control light environment where you actually have control of your environment. And this is the kind of stuff you have to look for when you're looking at these video demonstrations, especially if you look at the screen and the wall behind the screen is black. That's, 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 that's an indication right there, it's dark, an indication that screen cannot perform well. On top of that, if they're doing the exact same demonstration over and over again, they're just showing the video with different lighting and stuff. They're not doing anything different. That's also another indication. Now, if you notice, I do my videos with the lights on, with the lights off. I do different gaming and uh, gaming videos and movies and stuff like that. I just show the different screens and different applications. Now, if a person is showing the screen and different applications, different movie settings and gaming and so forth, then he's just showing off the screen's ability on how it's going to perform uh, when you're using your, um, your media format or whatever you're using. 
uh, to run through your projector. But like I said, you really have to show your ability of your screen scan capability, and this is very important, especially angle gain due to the fact that a lot of people now are using their projectors as TVs and they run them in the daytime. So that's something you have to think about. All right, so let's go over here and let's look at the projector we're using right here. This is the, I don't even know the name of this thing, but anyway, it's a generic projector and a lot of people get fooled and think because it has the HDMI on the back of it, it's gotta be good, it's not, trust me. Now, you saw this already, just to add insult to injury, I know we're using a 40 element projector, um, but we need, I needed to add a little bit more kick to the demonstration. So at the bottom of the screen, I added in my 500 watt UV bar light. So the screen is gonna have to pass through a lot of punishment. All right, so let's get this started right now. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now we're going to come over here on an angle. So angle gain is very important. An angle gain, it will show you exactly that your screen should look the same way as it does on the side, as it should in the front. Look at that, under 48 lumens. Now right now, you know what I mean, if you, except, except right now, actually to tell you the truth, uh, if your screen was available right now, you could go to Amazon right now and get a cheap 120, 150, you can go buy a $200 projector, SVGA, 600 by 800, and it would look amazing on the screen. You would not have to spend a ton of money to execute one of these screens or execute a perfect picture on one of these screens. Okay guys, well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Witch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed this video.